Hello there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my bob, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I am running a 15% off sale on my Tarot P breakup course. Um, well, session, uh, it is a little bit of Tarot and a little bit of coaching. It is the one hour session by using code BREAKUP in the promo section on my website. If you would like to enter to win $125, Dallas, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing in the comment section. But if you're doing well for yourself, my loves, let's pass this forward and allow those Scorpios who need the extra money to enter. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, though, anybody is welcome to do that by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. We are going to see what is coming towards you in love. I just did the daily tarot and I'm a little concerned for some of you. Please stay in your square if you have watched that and it resonates with you. Do not let somebody take you out of your square. With that being said, we are going to start out with some tarot to a cup's bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Tell me, spirit, what is coming towards my beautiful, sexy, handsome Scorpios in love, please? Within, let's say, the next week or so. Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, and the Emperor Aries Energy. For some of you, you have someone from your past lurking and looming around. <clears throat> this person is very regretful. You both may have a lot of regrets. You look at this person as your emperor. Emperor is you could have children to them, or this is somebody that you had a past life with. It could, this could be somebody that you have never met here in the 3D, but you have had a past life with them at some point, a soul connection. For some of you, this is a brand new person. This person is, is a, a boss figure. They are a father or a mother. This person knows what they want. They know where they've been, and they know where they're going you could definitely meet somebody within the next few weeks Scorpio that wants to make you their empress or emperor that wants to build and grow somebody who is energetically matching you but there is some regret here in your energy or this person has regret in theirs this person it is faded whatever is happening here over the course of the next few weeks it is a faded event the divine is orchestrating either a reunion for you to be able to find closure or rebuild or uh, a brand new meetup with somebody that you have a past life with. Um, divine timing here in temperance. For some of you, this will not be happening until Sagittarius season, or this person could be a Sagittarius, but it's important to stay balanced right now in your love life. Tell me why the Five of Cups is here, please. Why is this surrounding Scorpio right now? We're going to take it because I wanted to come out. Two of Wands here, mm, Ten of Wands. Whoever this is, they're incredibly burdened and trying to move forward. They could be traveling. This could have been a long distance relationship. You may meet somebody online and this person could have a lot of responsibility. For most of you though, this is someone who's very burdened by things that happened with you, by events that took place in the past. Why the Six of Cups? This person um, seems to be waiting and planning, focusing on work here eight of pentacles and watching you page of swords this is somebody that could have caused a lot of gossip though who could have gossiped and ran their mouth about you and now they have a lot of regrets for what they have said and did wanting to come back around planning right now waiting here this is someone that you could work with as well. Past life relationship with somebody, a, a, you know, that you don't know. This is a new person. It just depends on where you are. It will, you will know if it resonates with you. If you feel there's someone from your past that's been lurking around, that talked a lot of shit, that did this and did that, and they feel really regretful and you know they're watching, then that is for you. For some of you, you could have two people. This past person that's in regret and a 
a new person, an emperor here, someone who is not a child, somebody who uh, knows what they want, a two of cups connection, beautiful, a soul connection here with a brand new person. Page of Wands, good information, good news, and happy messages. A lot of, of uh, talking back and forth. This person could live at a distance from you, Scorpio, but there's something about them that you just is familiar. For some of you, you already started communicating with this person. They could live in a different part of the, of the country, of the world, and you haven't got a chance to meet up yet, all in, in divine timing. But you seem to be very confused, Scorpio. Looking at all the time, energy, and effort that was spent in a past connection, wondering should you move on with this new person or should you stay because you invested a lot of time, energy, and effort with someone else here. This new person's been very generous with their time or will be, but a lot of fast moving energy. They may want to take things fast with you, move fast in a relationship, and it could start causing a lot of confusion. This person could be an air sign, a water sign, earth fire we have everybody here tell me spirit what what is the love message we have for scorpio about this situation about what is coming towards them please express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture and passion beautiful allow your heart to sing with joy scorpio and let your friends help you for some of you you're going to meet this person through your friends you may decide to just be friends for a while while you're getting to know one another, especially if you're coming out of a breakup and you're, you're still filled with some regret and nostalgia. Tell me, Spirit, what is the Six of Cups here? What is this about? Is this a past person or what? Your partner thrives on taking bold risks. There's concerns about money that's affected your love life here, and they feel you're out of their league. Oh, boy, Scorpio. For some of you, this is a past person that you've had a lot of arguments about money with. This is somebody in the past that you all would argue and fight about money, or they felt you were out of their league. Yeah, there's negative emotion, shadow self-behavior. But messages coming in, the divine's trying to give you messages about whether or not you should move on. For some of you, you know it's time to move on, but you're still romanticizing a past relationship, and so are they, trying to come on in, trying to come back in, but not knowing what to say here. Spirit's asking you to stand by your morals. Have unquestionable faith here. Find the truth and live in it. What is the truth about this situation? Are you in love with the what if, the what could be, the what once was, or are you seeing the reality of it? This person seems to thrive on taking bold risks. There's a need for grounding. They want to band-aid it. They want to um, fix this somehow. They want to put a band-aid on it because of all the romantic issues you've had. You may have thought about money, thought about uh, you know, lots of things with this person in the past, and now they want to come on in and band-aid a situation with you. They do love you. There is a strong bond, but this person um, feels like you get noticed a lot. That makes them uncomfortable that you are the center of attention, or they are constantly trying to be the center of attention, and that's a problem. Mm -mm -mm. Now tell me about the new person here. This new Two of Cups connection for my Scorpios ready to move on. Making healthy choices, passion for life here, respect the rules, um, a need for fairness, a change has been forced upon you. For some of you, this new person is someone you know, they're afraid to be... Uh, they're afraid to tell you how they feel because they're afraid it could hurt their reputation. Could be a boss, could be your ex's uh, friend or something like this. But Spirit's asking you to make a healthy choice here. What would be the healthiest choice? There's inner conflict and unexpressed anger. There's a lot of anger in the energy today. For some of you, you're feeling really angry, really, really wronged. You, you feel like, how dare this person do what they're doing? And it's starting to work you up again. For some of you, you're just having a setback. It's just a bad day. Um, it doesn't mean you're going back. Try to work through the, these feelings of anger. You're just grieving. It's normal. Um, write, express, uh, dance, scream, get, do something to let out all of this anger. There was something forced upon you. And this new person could be coming in at the wrong time. 
but spirit's asking you to explore open yourself up reach for the stars you are unique overcome these limited beliefs here overcome the belief that you could never be happy with another person that because this is a soul connection you should allow this past person to do whatever they please to you scorpio that's false it's time to put up healthy boundaries. Whatever is about to take place here, it would only be a band-aid. It would be a temporary solution because this person hasn't fixed any of the issues that they, they have that cause them to act this way. If they wanted to be with you, they would do so. They want you to take charge and set the pace. For some of you, this, this new person wants you to um, ask them out. They're trying to flirt a lot or, or you know, hint around. Uh, the past person, if they wanted to be with you, Spirit, saying they would, please don't make excuses for this person. You may be saying, well, they're busy. Well, this is going on. That's going on. That's why I'm not hearing from them. Or, um, you know, they, they, they want to do this before they commit to me. Don't, don't make excuses for this person is what spirit is asking you. Tell me what this past person has to say, please. I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I'm not going to change. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you are consuming me, and it's just not the right time. I knew it. For some of you, it's not the right time because you're still in love with this past person. This past person's telling you they don't know what they want. It's not the right time. They're thinking about you a lot, but they're not making any real moves. They feel like it's not the right time. They could have told you that. They're they're focused on other things. They're focused on uh, you know, maybe their their personal life in some other ways. But the truth is, if they wanted to be with you, they would, spirit saying, and I'm not trying to trigger or hurt anybody. But it's time to make healthier choices here because the divine is trying to help you bring in this brand new lover that may treat you so good, Scorpio. But if you're not ready, you're not ready. There is a new person, though. You're being asked here to leave something behind. There could be a love triangle going on and you're tired of the emotional mess. Um, there is a divine intervention coming. Spirit is bringing in. Ask your angels to assist here. Ask your angels. The divine is bringing a new person in. For some of you, there will be a reconciliation around the corner, but you could find something out about this person right after you reconcile, like they're still talking to a third party or they've been lying about what they've been doing. There's a lot of ups and downs, many lessons to learn. The divine may actually show you something on this person's phone. If you reconcile with them, I'm sorry, but I don't know how well it's going to go. Um, I feel like there's something that they could get caught in the act doing. Um, or they could be telling you one thing and doing another. And spirit's going to show you this. Because there's a third party situation, a love triangle going on for most of you. Or maybe this person's work is their third party, y'all. Or their family, right? But the thing is, is there's something that you're going to find evidence on their phone about if you reconcile with them anytime soon. What do they want to say? Unfortunately, this is somebody here who has not did a whole lot of healing. And it would just be a band-aid, like I said, because they're not changing. I need to free myself from fears and doubts. I'm a caged bird. I cannot support your actions. It's too much for me to deal with. This person seems to be overwhelmed by your relationship, overwhelmed by what you want. Maybe you want to go to therapy. Maybe you want to do actual work together. And this person's fighting it. They know that they have to make a lot of changes for you all to be successful, and they're not changing. So whatever happens here, it would just be a band-aid is what I see. Like maybe it would go well for a few weeks, but if this person doesn't start making the, the, the right changes, it may just fall apart again. The divine is going to intervene. For those who want this new person, y'all, I feel, tell me about the new person. I feel like this could be a lot of, yeah, you have to believe in yourself, though. You're, you're filled with divine light right now. The divine is trying to um, help you. There's a lot of spiritual development. This new person could be very uh, woke in their own, you know, way. There's abundance, you're attracting happiness, you're attracting a healthy life, but you may be tested. Do you want to go back to this person that's not changing or do you want to move forward here and and 
and have this new beautiful love. There's untapped potential inside, sweetheart. You have so much potential to live a prosperous, abundant life. There's just some changes that need to be made first. And going back to this person would just be band-aiding your life here. It would be a temporary fix to your sadness. So you may want to really start listening to the divine. Really believe in yourself here, Scorpio. There's untapped potential. There's, there's so much love and prosperity on the way for you. But you have to believe that you deserve this. For some of you, you only want this person and, and that's okay. But you may have to repeat some lessons is what Spirit's saying. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs. It will be a very long journey. Think first before you judge, number 26, and number 10, forgive. For some of you here, you're being guided to make clear decisions, but don't rush them. Don't get in this night of swords energy where you're just making this person comes back in and you get swept up and you're like, oh, okay. And you just put yourself in a third party situation because you've missed them or, you know, do things like that. Make sure you're thinking your, your, your decisions through. You've been holding a grudge against someone in your life. Maybe it's a loved one or maybe it's yourself. This isn't a card telling you that you must learn to practice forgiveness. No, forgive them on your own terms if and when you feel ready to do so. This is simply a nudge for you to consider whether <clears throat> what time you present. Don't let forgiveness feel like an obligation, but like a shiny red hope that gets you through sleepless nights. The divine is saying, Scorpio, when you're ready, you need to forgive yourself first. And forgive this unchanged person. Maybe they're unhealed. Maybe there's a lot of reasons why they behave the way they do. And, and instead of looking at it um, from a 3D place, look at it from your, high, your 5D self, your higher self, and say, I love them, but I'm going to love them over here because they're just not giving me what I deserve. And, and that doesn't mean that I'm less than. It doesn't mean anything other than we just don't make it work in the 3D. They don't want what I want. And that, that's okay because there's somebody else coming to take their place. They're about to come in any day now if you already haven't meant them. A beautiful abundant life coming for you you are attracting healthy things you really are keep going I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day love and light